Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, zombie talk. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the zombie apocalypse. That's right. The zombie apocalypse. And uh, why are we going to talk about the zombie apocalypse? Well, because I brought it up in uh, this week's live stream, this last Wednesday's live stream. And um, that's what I was basically talking about, you know, the whole NPC um, apocalypse, the whole zombie apocalypse that we're dealing with. And I was talking about that for about two hours and you guys really resonated with that. You really loved that. Here, look, check it out. Everybody working, doing their thing, non-zombies. So everybody just working, doing their thing. Hell yeah. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I made that episode talking about, you know, just like kind of like the zombie apocalypse that we're dealing with. It started off more like a, like a comedy. You know, I really just wanted to, you know, have a fun live stream, you know, just taking the, the lighter side of things, I guess, you know what I mean? Just trying to, you know, laugh. You know that old saying, if, you, if you're not laughing, you're crying. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm laughing a lot, all right? <laughs> you know, I'd rather laugh, okay? So with that being said, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I just kind of, you know, when I was doing the live stream last week, I was just kind of like, ah, eh, fuck it. You know what I mean? Let's just have some fun with this. I'm kind of getting sick and tired of the whole Rona virus and everything, you know, um, the zombification of everybody. And um, as I was going through that episode and making, you know, we were live, you know, talking about it and, and all that stuff. It actually turned out to be a really awesome episode because it, it put a different perspective on this whole thing. And... Uh, you know, today, um, it's Friday afternoon. I'm on my way to go pick up some ice cream, get some vitamin D, get my daily walk, go, you know, you know, um, get the most important uh, thing for me, which is my ice cream, because I'm a fat, chunky chunk. And, uh, <laughs> you know, but the point I'm making is that I decided, hey, let me, uh, you know, let me make a video. Let me talk about this, because this is something that ever since I did the live stream on Wednesday, it was resonating with me a lot, you know what I mean, in my head. Um, especially as I kept hearing from all of you guys, you know, over and over again, you know, talking about, you know, um, how the way I explain things, you know, um, meaning the perspective that I put on the, the whole situation of us being in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, you know, was a really, really great way to explain the situation. And subsequently what i've done is that i've actually every time that i'm having this conversation with people see i, I love that that was just a, car, a guy in a car by himself with a mask on and he wanted to wave at me super zombie totally fine you know anyways but the point is is that as i was explaining to everybody about as i was trying to explain this whole situation to everybody and and uh you know brought the whole idea up that we're just living in the middle of this is the zombie apocalypse we are in the zombie apocalypse this whole everything that's happening now is the motherfucking zombie apocalypse that's it there's no other if ands or buts about it and so when i'm when i talk about it that way when i bring it up in that way when i let you know others you know um in a sense you know um i help i help others describe this experience as the zombie apocalypse that it really is all of a sudden people are starting to you know truly understand you know what's going on here because that's basically all it is it's like we're living in the middle of a zombie apocalypse we're zombies everywhere um and uh you know as i'm walking around i'm walking around a bunch of zombies you know <laughs> i'm i'm in a zombie world you know it's just zombies everywhere as you guys can see not a zombie so again anyone without a mask not a zombie anyone with a mask super zombie and that's it it's as simple as that man <laughs> it's as simple as that and i don't give a fuck who i fucking insult or how anyone out there thinks about this or anything like that it's just the way it is it's just the way it is and um look i was even talking to my aunt this morning you know what i mean um we were just talking you know she lives out in miami we're just talking about stuff life and then she's just you know the the, the basic question i get asked by everybody oh how are things out here how's life how are you and christian yeah, you know, blah, 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 you know, and I asked the same question, you know, hey, how are you doing? You know, how's life over there? 
how are things going yada 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 and again you know one of the things that i hear from her oh my god things are getting worse um all the beds are getting full everything's saturated and, and i'm like all i heard was uh, uh, <laughs> you know zombie talk and it's funny because uh, you know i've already had this conversation many times with my aunt and i'm like oh, i don't even want to talk about it i go forget don't even just forget it can we talk about something else hey let's talk about you know my little nephew's birthday or let's talk about you know i don't know anything else and then she's like um you know i just kind of explained to her you know how the last episode show that i did i was bringing up the whole zombie apocalypse and how i was talking about it and i was just saying to her look you know as you're telling me that whole thing about the saturated beds or whatever propaganda you know bullshit you know what i mean that you're telling me now all i'm listening all i hear is uh, 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 you know zombie talk that's it just zombie talk as simple as that and she started laughing her ass off and cracking up and she's like no you're right you're right you're 100 percent correct and so on and so forth and all that shit and um yeah i'm just trying to show you all the zombies around me and stuff like that because they're everywhere as you guys can see and again depending on where you live and where you are you have a lot of zombies or you have just a few zombies but there's zombies everywhere that's one thousand percent you know what i mean we all know that and so that's the thing you know what i mean that's what i um when i started talking about this whole thing as the zombie apocalypse as the you know the the whole thing where everyone has been infected by this disease this virus um that was uh you know how did they get infected by watching tv by watching mainstream media mainstream news and so on and so forth and that's how you know everyone that's how people got infected with their um zombie virus and shit like that and here are the zombie virus uh technicians there you know what i mean like i really don't give a fuck and it's funny because again you know i'm not here i'm not here trying to cause any trouble or anything like that but i sure as hell am not in living in fear anymore because i already know um where we are when it comes to the laws and and regulations and all that shit and uh basically if anyone even tells me to fucking put a mask on outside of going inside a private business it is against the constitution and totally illegal and they don't even say it anymore because they've already been confronted with that and that's the thing you know so again anyone out there wearing a mask outside you know doing this whole fucking you know thing believing this whole thing it's just a bunch of zombies just a bunch of zombies and look why i bring it up in the zombie apocalypse it's because there's many 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 levels to this just like in any zombie apocalypse there's a lot of innocent victims there's a lot of people that get bitten by the zombie virus without wanting to be zombies without wanting to be infected without wanting to be any of that shit you know what i mean you know other people like um the guy that right behind me right here you know he has to play ball or they will turn him into a zombie you know and that's the thing like um the poorer you are the more you are immediately affected by the zombification the zombie virus the, the, the whole the whole everything and uh the more you know the more resources you have or the better off that you are you know the better chance you have of surviving the zombie virus and pushing back against the virus and and uh re rejecting the virus okay and that's simply where, where we're at you know it's just the reality of it all right so real quick what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put on my mask so i gotta put my my zombie um what you call it hold on there we go so i gotta put on my my uh my zombie mask <laughs> so i can blend in by the way I highly suggest you guys watch the movie Shaun of the Dead. If you guys have not seen the movie Shaun of the Dead, I highly suggest you watch it. Um, it'll help you deal with this whole situation a lot better, a lot easier. Um, also, at the end of today's episode, I'm going to put a clip um, from the Boomer and the Zoomer, okay? Just a little clip of the podcast so you guys can also see the stuff that I do behind the scenes for fun and all that good stuff okay not behind the scenes i mean the other projects i'm involved with so you guys can check out the podcast so i'm gonna give you a little snippet at the end of this video so you guys can again if you if you like it go check out the podcast okay i think you guys will thoroughly enjoy it all right god is so hot so crazy hot so all right let's go get that ice cream real quick all right and continue our conversation all right so you guys already know this is my favorite ice cream place in the whole world so Look at this, this is uh, to wash your hands, I guess. 
You step on the pedals there. Oh, there you go. Step on the pedals there. You got soap. You got water. You got this whole thing here. Whatever the fuck this is. And uh, there's the ice cream spot. So we're going to get some ice cream. So hot. I think I got to wait behind this guy. But okay. So over there are the flavors. Over there they got like a bunch of pastries. More pastries there. You go over there. You order your ice cream. You pay for it. And you take it out. So I'm going to order a liter of ice cream from one flavor and then half a liter of another flavor. You can already guess which size is for who. Half a liter for, for Christian, one whole liter for me. So, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just going to get the ice cream, order this whole thing, and then I'm going to continue this conversation on our way home, okay? Oof. All right, I already got my ice cream, my little backpack here. Time to walk. So now what, you know, uh, the next thing to, to like a lot of what's going on right now, you know, not only is this thing like a zombie apocalypse, you know what I mean? And we're going through a, a zombie apocalypse through right now. But, you know, another thing that's really happening, what's really, really happening is the fact that this is a war, war against the poor people. And it's as simple as that. You know, we can discuss this, you know, back and forth every which way you know um coming home to monday or whatever however that thing is uh but the point is is that that is a major major component to uh, what's going on right now this is a war against the poor people and that's basically it all right the haves versus the have-nots same old same old that we've uh you know been seeing for a very long time on this planet earth nothing to see here nothing new same old same old so you know with that being said you know, this is a war against the poor people right now. So, you know, that's why you're seeing a lot of people that have uh, better, you know, what is it? A lot of people that, um, that are, you know, um, living, uh, how do I say this? A lot of people that are better off. That's what I meant. Okay. A lot of people that are way better off are the ones that are pushing this whole agenda. You know, pushing this whole idea of uh, you got to wear your mask. You better wear your mask. You need to comply. You need to wear. Um, you need to. What should I call it? You need to. Um, you know, all of a sudden, use hand sanitizer all the time. You know, only one person per. You know, per Uber and so on and so forth. So, for example, let me let me play for you right now a little bit of a video that Christian took the other day because she went to the Centro the other day in order to get some pictures and some photographs and some video um, for. Um, a art project that she's doing right now um, as you guys already know how art you know real awesome art is really created is you know again during times of crisis during times of insanity during times like these basically and so you know one of the things that she said all right i'm gonna do like a new art project i'm gonna go out to to El centro and i'm gonna start taking videos and pictures and documenting you know what i can about the people that are out here you know i'm um, waiting in line so you know um for the bus you know so you know even though right now they're implementing things like curfews and they're implementing so many restrictions you know here and there and all over the place that again are basically only impeding the movement of the poor the the everything for the poor again it's a war against the poor people because like for example things are a little bit more uncomfortable for me and christian and others out here that are living a little better off but the reality is is that Basically, everybody else is living out here. It's just like a regular person and they're living just within their means. And now all of a sudden they've been without work for many, many months. Um, they've been without resources for many, many months. They've been literally given the shit end of the stick. And, um, you know, for example, let me just give you an example. You know, like um, right now there's people, you know what I was, I'm, let me walk in the sun. Let me, I got to get that up. It's just so hot today, guys. But anyways, like I was saying, so there's a lot of people out there right now. Um, actually, there's other people in front of me. I don't want to... Anyways, <laughs> let me stay on topic. So there's other pe there's people out there right now. For example, like imagine a single mom with like two or three kids. And they need to go to the doctor. They need to go to the pediatric. They need to go, I don't know, anywhere, anything. Um, all of a sudden, they can't take an Uber because... The law out here says that only one passenger per Uber. So if you're a mom with a bunch of kids, you gotta get on the bus. So you gotta go to, you know, the center of town. Okay, you gotta stand in line in the hot sun for God knows how long, definitely longer than an hour, you know, to get on a really packed bus, 
all right that's not so clean and um and then go to your destination again you know a single mom you know with a bunch of kids on the bus as opposed to you know being able to take an uber or a taxi which is illegal now but like for example let's just say that me and christian like tonight you know we got to go out and about and we got to do our thing you know we, we're gonna go going out to dinner tonight you know to go meet a mutual friend and all that stuff and uh yeah now we got to take two separate ubers to get there and it's not really that big of a fucking deal you know i can afford you know what is it i can afford a couple trips so let's just say two trips there two trips back it's gonna put me back six dollars i would have rather spent three dollars but hey six dollars whatever what am i gonna do it is what it is now that same amount of money that can literally mean whether you or your kids or your family are gonna eat tonight or not or whether you're gonna eat for a couple days or not um those three dollars mean a lot okay those six dollars mean a lot and so on and so forth and again it's like you say you have kids or you are you know taking care of your elderly family member and you got to take them to the doctor or this or that and you need to go with them you can't just put them in an uber and you can't just put your kid in an uber you can't just put like your your you know your grandma in a fucking uber and just let them go and then hope to god that they make it and then you gotta i mean think about all that you know and then that's just the transportation aspect of it i'm not even talking about the the everything else the hunger the fact that right now there's a lay seca what is lay seca it's a dry law meaning that alcohol is illegal again i don't drink that much beer i know friends of mine that drink a lot but Again, I, I can get alcohol anytime I want, just like anyone else can get alcohol anytime they want. So normally a beer is a dollar or less, but now a beer, and, and during these times, they might cost me two or three dollars. If I want a beer bad enough or, or a six pack, I'll get it. But again, a poor person that wants that alcohol, that needs that alcohol, and I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear it with all your virtual singling people out there. You know, for someone that wants to have that alcohol for whatever reason, they're still going to get it. But now, you know, that same family member that's really poor has to spend instead of a, a few pesos for a beer, they got to spend triple that, which now that means, well, what are they going to do? Are they going to drink or, you know, again, not eat? And you already know what the decision is. You already know how people are. You already know how addiction is. You already know how all this stuff is. And for all the, all the people out there virtual signaling, like, oh my God, the alcoholics are this. Listen, man, uh, everyone out there has some sort of drug or some sort of habit or some sort of something. And again, it's that virtual signaling. You know, the fact that, you know, um, other people out there, uh, other people out there feel like they're better than others when nobody's better than anybody. So again, this whole zombie apocalypse. Uh everybody everybody has their agenda and their reason for continuing to be a zombie there's people out there that are really scared there are people out there that are just not as intelligent and they you know they don't know what else to do but to believe what they're being told other people out there that are bootlickers plenty of people out there a lot of people out there they have an agenda they don't want this to end because well they don't want that fat government check to stop coming they don't want xyz from happening remember I'll, like at a time like this, the people that have, have more. The people that had nothing have less. And that's as simple as that. And what we're seeing a lot of, because even someone like me that had almost nothing, I have a lot now. But if you had nothing or negative, oh my God, you are really, really, really feeling it right now. And that's the sad part. And the people that had a lot, man, they have 10 times that right now. And again, it's not about anything like that, but it's all about priorities. You know, construction is still going on. Um, and construction all over the city is going on. But then other basic services are stopped. Any service that the poor might need, done, stopped. Any service that, the, that anyone that has any kind of needs is all going. So again, it, it really goes to show you what the priorities are. Not just here, but all over the world. Every single place has their own reason for behaving a certain way and doing a certain thing to their constituents, you know, to their citizens. And so that's what a lot of people start need to, if you want this to end, you gotta start asking questions. You gotta start, you know, really um, looking at this from a different perspective. Because again, we are basically living through the zombie apocalypse. And so if you already know that, then what you need to do is learn how to survive during a zombie apocalypse. And as insane as that might sound, again, as we were talking about in the last live stream, you know, that I did a couple days ago, 
It's not that far fetched. It's not that crazy and it's not that far fetched. And in fact, if you read the zombie apocalypse survival guide or whatever the fuck that book was called, you, you quickly realize that holy shit, it's just the same exact thing. You know what I mean? It's just a survival guide. You know, we need, that's what we need to do. We just gotta survive through this. And again, not just survive, but thrive. And that's what I like to talk about on this channel. That's what I talk about on the live streams. That's what I talk about in a lot of the videos. So if you want to learn not just how to survive, but how to thrive, how not to be a victim, okay? But how not to get used by the system, but instead how to use the system for your benefit and so many more other things, how to prepare yourself correctly, how to really, you know, again, thrive through all this, then please check out the rest of the channel. Check out all the links below. Check out my other channel. Check me out on BitChute, check me out on Library, check out the podcast, which you're about to see um, a little clip of the podcast and as soon as this is done, and so on and so forth. So, guys, again, please check out all the links below. There's no excuses for you not to be not only prepared, but, you know, beyond prepared, okay? And um, you should be laughing at this just like I'm laughing at it, you know? Just, this is a zombie apocalypse. Again, I wish I could play a clip from Shaun of the Dead here, you know, so you guys can, can watch it without me getting uh, my video knocked off. But just please do me a favor. Check out that movie, Shaun of the Dead. Watch that this weekend, okay? Ah, the camera turned off. It was too hot. Also, the ice cream's melting. I better get inside and finish this episode. So, guys, you already know what to do. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please share, all right? If you, if you find this information useful, share it with everybody because YouTube is not sharing it. Um, don't forget to stay awesome. And uh, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the next Wednesday live stream. Love you guys. Peace out. And I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoy this clip. Bye. So for now, we're all doing webcam stuff. So I might webcam into a deposition. But eventually, I hope, we return back to flying. Because that's the only cool part of it. Yeah, for sure, bro. I mean, the deposition's all right. But I'd rather be flying. Flying? You want to get the... the, the I want to get the full experience. Know. I want to say hello to the flight attendants. <laughs> Uh, the pumpkin eating that's a pumpkin eating american dream bro yeah, to be a, the, uh, a businessman you yeah. know like a moderate, moderate businessman that flies uh coach and fucking uh stays in fucking motel six and i'll order take in food just one piece of pumpkin pie as usual please yeah. <laughs> um, oh you're here again mr hansen that's right that's right just one piece of pumpkin pie bitch <laughs> Would you like your usual room? <laughs> when I ever, when have I ever said no, Tracy? <laughs> I'm gonna have a pumpkin pie waiting for me in the room. God, I'm, a, I'm gonna be an asshole. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna, I'm, look, I'm flying into Detroit. <laughs> I had a layover in Detroit. I don't want to wait <laughs> for that pumpkin pie. <laughs> Where the fuck are we supposed to get a pumpkin pie in the middle of July? <laughs> I don't give a shit, Tracy. <laughs> it should better be in the room. <laughs> and I'm going up there at six. It's like they got pumpkin pie waiting for me in Aurora, right? Yeah. You, should, you better have it for me in fucking whatever the fuck. Yeah. In in Toledo, Kansas. <laughs> Aurora would never do me like this. <laughs> I go back into the office and I'm like, I'm not handling, I'm not handling any more Toledo cases. It's just not going to happen for me. Someone else could deal with those people. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's what I got going on at work. I'm <laughs>